Hi, my name is Bruce Potter. I am a chemical engineer and I live in Frisco, Texas. I have had uh, issues with IBS and uh, acid reflux for over five, six years. I've been through all kinds of testing for, for trying to figure out what the dizziness and fog that I had uh, on the left side or right side of my neck and, and uh, pain I had there for almost two years of tests from barium swallow tests to uh, x-rays and trying to f the doctors trying just trying to figure out what's wrong. Um, in that interim that they were doing that they, they discovered that I had acid reflux with the barium swallow test. Uh, so they put me on acid reflux medicine. I uh, was on that for almost three to four years. As far as the IBS attacks, I've had those uh, almost the same length of time. Uh, they were so extreme that I would actually have so much pain that I would, uh, from the cramping in my colon, that I would uh, bend, you know, be bent over and actually pass out within five to eight minutes of feeling the attack come. And uh, one day, uh, my wife, who's a nurse practitioner, uh, recommended I come to see Matt Chalmers, Dr. Matt Chalmers, uh, to have some testing done. When I got here, I didn't realize what kind of testing was to be done, and, and the test was kind of uh, different for me compared to a traditional test. And I was a little bit skeptical of the, you know, type of testing and didn't being a scientist myself, kind of was a little hesitant as to whether this was really going to work, but I was out of options and I didn't know where else to turn, and so I thought I'd give it a try, per my wife's uh, encouragement. Uh, he put me on uh, a, a regimen of, of both pills and some treatments that within two weeks the fog had actually lifted that I had for over a couple of years of dizziness where I couldn't concentrate at work. I was actually kind of falling asleep between three and five uh, each day, like felt tired where I was actually, my eyes even at work in meetings and it, it was an incredible change just within the first few weeks in that area. Um, of course, during the testing phase that uh, Dr. Chalmers was testing me, he told me that I had some clog or some backup in my gallbladder uh, lymph node system and he said you should clear your fog and I didn't even tell him I had fog. I didn't even tell him that I had issues with IBS. Uh, he only, I only mentioned the acid reflux and so those were kind of interesting things that he actually discovered during the testing and with after two weeks in the fog clearing and I also I was sharp, I could remember things, I could, I could concentrate uh, within four to six weeks uh, I never had an IBS attack, never, I've not been in pain, passed over, any of that kind of thing. Those attacks were hitting me to the point where I'd always have to carry cash in case I was at a restaurant. In fact, when I first met my wife, I had an attack at, it was like the second date, and I told, I had to tell her that I had IBS. It was embarrassing on the second date. I said, you know what, I need to go to the bathroom, but don't freak out if I don't come out right away. But if I do and you see me run, you know, heading right outside, I go, could you please use this cash, pay the bill, and get me home as quick as possible because I knew I was going to have to pass out um, from the pain soon. So that being said, uh, that four to six week mark, I felt uh, almost all my symptoms go away, including the acid reflux. Um, I am not on acid reflux medicine anymore uh, from the traditional doctor. Uh, which was incredible because I wouldn't even be able to get off of it for two weeks without burning and having the symptoms of acid reflux. And since then, things have been 100%. I'm not on any medications for any of those items and I'm back on top of the world.